Hello and welcome back to the MedGuru CDB YouTube channel. We have a very quick session here. And this is my crystal ball or the things we would predict in an examination with regards to basic ECG must knows. Now I would like to reiterate that this session is very, very basic. It will not discuss the interpretation and clinical cases of your ECG, but rather stick to what is included in two common physiology textbooks, which is Burnin Levy and Guyton. So let's start with the super basic ECG must knows. Now this is your ECG. You have your P wave here, the Q wave, the R and the S. So this is your Q, R, S complex, the T wave, and the cycle continues again. So always remember, the P wave should precede or come before the QRS, and the T wave should come after the QRS. So these are the basics we have to review in preparation for your exams. The P wave corresponds to atrial depolarization. The QRS corresponds to ventricular depolarization. T wave corresponds to ventricular repolarization. So the P wave is atrial depolarization. The QRS is ventricular depolarization, while the T wave is ventricular repolarization. Now, very nice illustration. This is the P wave. Okay, the P wave is there. This represents atrial depolarization. The QRS complex is ventricular depolarization. Then we have the T wave, which represents ventricular repolarization. Now, specifics for your exam. My crystal ball tells me you're gonna be asked, what is your diagnosis if there's a prolonged PR interval? This is first degree AV block. Prolonged PR interval, this is first degree AV block. What about the absence of a P wave? So if the ECG has an absent P wave or they give you a case of a patient who came in with palpitations and on physical exam, there was an irregularly irregular rhythm and the EKG revealed an absent P wave, then your diagnosis would be atrial fibrillation, AFib. Now another case, you have an ECG and it revealed the famous rabbit's ear pattern or the RSR in leads V1 to V3. Then your diagnosis would be right bundle branch block, RBBB. So my personal mnemonics is RBBB sounds like RBB, rabbit. So it's your rabbit's ear. So as you can see here, okay, look at your RSR pattern and look at the ears of the rabbit. So RSR, RBBB. Now these are the illustrations uh, regarding the EKG lecture in Burn and Levy. This is your normal sinus rhythm, as you can see. P wave is there, QRS, then the T wave follows. This is sinus tachycardia, which is defined in physiology as a heart rate that is more than 100. A heart rate more than 100. Now, this is sinus tach on top, and this is sinus bradycardia below. So, definition in your book, sinus bradycardia, a heart rate less than 60. So magic numbers, more than 100 for tachycardia, 
less than 60 for bradycardia, which means the normal heart rate would be 60 to 100 beats per minute. Now, this is the illustration on atrial fib in your textbook. And don't forget this mnemonics, EVIC, E-V-I-C-T. So what's the mnemonics? E V I C T EVIC that's ethanol ventricular septal defect or valvular heart disease VHD ischemic heart disease cardiomyopathy or cocaine and thyrotoxicosis these are common causes or etiologies of atrial fibrillation ethanol VSD or valvular heart disease, ischemic heart disease, cardiomyopathy, cocaine, and thyrotoxicosis. Common etiologies for atrial fibrillation, EVIC. Now, this is VFib. This is the ECG in Burn and Levy. This is one of your fatal arrhythmias. Now, just remember, VFib is what you would most likely encounter in a patient post-myocardial infarction, considering that the most common cause of death post-MI, in-hospital cause of death, is ventricular fibrillation. Now here, take note of this. This is also mentioned in your burn and levy, the long QT syndrome. Now if you look here, this is the P wave. Okay, where's the P wave? It's there. This is the QR. S, and look at the T wave. The T wave is way back here. So the QT interval is prolonged. That's the long QT syndrome. So let's go back. Sorry about that. So in long QT syndrome, the interval between the QRS complex and the T wave is abnormally prolonged. Now, the long QT syndrome, take note, has a genetic pathogenesis. There are two genes identified in your textbook associated with your long QT syndrome, your HERG or your HERG gene and the SCN5A gene. Take note, HERG is a potassium channel. This is chromosome 7. SCN5A is a sodium channel. This is chromosome 3. Now, for those who tend to forget easily, letter S for the SCN gene, S is sodium. So that's the sodium gene. Now, take note, going back to your long QT syndrome, they usually present with recurrent syncopal attacks or recurrent fainting spells. Now, winding down, we have a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. This is your famous torsade de pont. Okay, polymorphic ventricular tachycardia called torsade de pont. One of the hallmarks here would be hypokalemia. And this is one of your cardiac arrhythmias, which are emergencies. So winding down for this very quick session, just for the physiology exam, EKG, polymorphic ventricular tachycardia with a long QT interval. This is torsade de pont. So take time to review the video. Repeat it as much as you want and share it with your friends. This is Doc Toom telling you that these are the things you have to remember. Okay, now before we end this session, last slides. So this is your precordial and your limb leads. So I want everyone to remember, look at the color code, look at the yellow first because this is my prediction. This is what's going to come out. 2, 3, AVF. 2, 3, AVF. That's inferior wall of the heart. Again, 2, 3, AVF. That's inferior wall. 1, AVL. That's lateral. Then for your other leads, V1, V2. That's septal. V3, V4. That's anterior. V5, V6. That's lateral. Now, don't be surprised that some references put V2, V3 as anterior septal, 
v4, v5 as anterior lateral. That's still correct. Now, lastly, precordial leads, v1 septal, v2 anterior septal, v3 anterior septal, v4 anterior, v5, and v6 lateral left ventricle. So with this, best of luck and God bless in your examinations. Thank you for watching the MedGuru CDB channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and share to your friends. God bless everyone. This is Doc Toom saying, Daghag salamat, kupkunkap, and thank you.